I have to laugh, David, because I'm not waddling yet. <laughs> no, you're not you waddling to, at all. And you don't get to watch yourself walk very often, but on this show you do, <laughs> and I get to. It's true. It's how we start every day. We will get to see the the fall of my walking. Oh please. Yeah. It's gonna slowly lean back more. It's gonna be it's gonna be a very slow walk into the studio in the next couple of weeks. Well, <laughs> on that note, on that note, we want to wish the Penguins good luck because yes. this is an important night for the Pens. Game four tonight at home against the Islanders. This is must win yeah. or be eliminated. Do or die. Yes. Yeah, so they have to win the next four games in a row, right? To, to win this series. It's, yeah, it's going to be tough for them. And the game starts at 7.30 tonight. Fans are going to be outside PBG Paints Arena because not everybody can get a ticket. So right. this is a good place for fans to come and cheer them on. But we say good luck, right? Yes. You say good luck to somebody, but is it luck? Do you I don't believe know. in what luck? It uh, well, or I, oh, this is a very deep question okay. right out of the gate here, Heather. Uh, no, I believe in ability, but I also believe in a little bit of luck. And so much of it, don't you think a lot of it is mental? When you're yeah. playing a sport like that or, or doing so many things, it's all where your, your brain is at, you know, and, and a team sport is even more complicated. I think that you're right about that. Yeah. yeah. So, so we wish them luck tonight. We, yeah. If, if they were theater people, we would say break a leg. We're not going to say that because that's bad in hockey. I don't think you say that to <laughs> hockey players. No. That's career ending. Good luck, yes. So good luck to them and the fans out there. Do your job. Cheer them on. Help the Pens bring home a win. Yeah. Well, that's exciting, and we're excited about something else. We've we been are. talking for a while about naming our car, <laughs> uh, the PTL car that we've gotten from Tom Henry Chevrolet, and we want to... Uh, tell you today that we're finally doing it. We're, we have narrowed it down, all your suggestions, to the top 10, and we're going to announce those. And then throughout the broadcast today, we're going to narrow it down even more until we get to the final two. Yes. And then we just can't decide without your help. So we're going to ask you to vote on Facebook or Twitter when we get it down to the final two. And these, I feel like we need a drum roll. These are the 10 finalists. Yes. Okay, so Sporty, Pedal, which is supposed to be PTL, Pedal, uh, yeah, uh, love Bridget, Yinzer Go Round, Katie, <laughs> which I, I love that one because it's, you know, Katie K.A. Katie so K.A., yeah. Katie. Uh, Ellie. P.T.L. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Henry. Right, because it's Tom Not Henry Tom Chevrolet. Henry, right. And, yeah, same color scheme, too. Mellow Yellow, Marigold, and Honey. I did All get, good names. I, I got a suggestion from a PTL viewer. She caught the show yesterday, but she wasn't sure how to send in her suggestion. And she gave us the name Petunia, which I thought was also very That's cute, cute too. for a car. Yeah, and, and we have an honorable mention. We do. This little one, Mystery yeah. Cruiser, which Mystery reminds me, yeah, this came from Judy, Judy Doerr, uh from... Love yeah. your show. And we have her phone number. We should call her. We should call her. We should call her. Yeah, so thank Joe you for making Judy. that very cute. So anyhow, during this show, we will narrow it down, and we'll get to the final two, and then we'll ask for your help. Okay, I have been in this situation before. I know you have, too. And I thought this was such an interesting concept going on in California. Store receipts. Right. Some people ask you now if you want a receipt or not. Some don't give you the option. And right. some wind up printing receipts that are... Hasn't this uh, happened to you? Like a receipt that's like six feet long? Yeah, there's the survey, the coupon, the, right. you know. And then you have to even, and look, so Rick Dayton got one of these. So he posted this on Facebook. I think he just bought deodorant. He did. But he got a four-foot receipt. <laughs> I just thought it was so ridiculous and you know he wound up getting actually an email or some sort of comment a response from the company about it and yeah. they told him that you can actually go into their app into their website and opt out of getting the receipt so there's an option sometimes but right. it is ridiculous when you get some It is ridiculous receipts. and so this this lawmaker in California wants to ban uh, long paper receipts in fact the bill would make businesses that earn more than a million dollars uh, to have a electronic receipts unless you ask for a paper receipt. Okay. And the deal with the paper receipts is they can't be recycled. kind of paper has chemicals all over it. So it's non-recyclable. So it is just, you know, we've a waste had, of paper. We've had lengthy discussions too about recycling and I don't know how you sort through something like a receipt that's light if that's thrown into the recycling, but chemicals, it's kind of dangerous. Yeah, exactly. All right, something else that uh, is dangerous, some video that we're going to show you. We want to tell you right out of the gate, no one was hurt here, but this happened out west. Uh, really wild video to watch. Is. This is competitive axe throwing. It's catching on, oh. and this, this woman 
uh, had a near miss here, and it was her boyfriend that recorded this. He's actually posted it to Instagram. Oh but if she didn't duck in that moment, and this has become a big thing across the nation, uh, these axe throwing places, we have them here in Pittsburgh. Oh, every time I know, I, I know. you know it doesn't hit her, and yet every time it bounces it's back, it's just hard to watch. You're just so thankful that she ducked when she did. So I have actually tried this out. I have gone to Lumberjacks, which right. has three locations. They're about to open three more. I was in, in Millvale, and this is Corey Deasy, and I contacted him yesterday to get his reaction to that video. Mm -hmm. And uh, and he says he, they have had 100,000 visitors. You're not very good at that. But I, I did get it to <laughs> stick, though, Heather. I, eventually, if we stick with this video, you will see. Look at that. There you go. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. So uh, anyhow, I had a lot of fun there. But we talked a lot about the safety of it, and he said part of the problem from him watching that video out west, he said the, the axe handle was made of rubber, and they had rubber down below, and Which the combination of the two things created this big bounce. So they've actually banned the, the rubber handles, now is wooden handles, at that establishment where that close call happened. Wow. They've always had wooden handles at Lumberjacks's. You're also, he said, he thought she was trying to do sort of a trick shot where she bounced it up based on the video, mm. and he said that's not allowed at Lumberjacks. They also have coaches there that are assigned to you, right. sort, of, sort of look after you and walk you through it and, and teach you how to do it. It's so, very yeah. popular, though. It's really popular, but that video, just scary. We've had them on PTL before, and we've had some fun out in the parking lot throwing right. axes before. <laughs> it is fun. Ron and I got our uh, try of that, and it, we weren't so good at it. We weren't so good no, at it. No. You didn't. So I was teasing you, but I'm not much better. I promise you. I promise you. Well, so th there's something else that happened, and I just, this story is just unbelievable to me. Yeah, from access to guns. Listen to this. This is just, whew. Um, two men in Arkansas, uh, according to police, apparently decided to test a bulletproof vest by shooting each other while they had the vest on. Well, I... I, Why no, do one, to... no one was really hurt in this, but, uh, you know, really a moment of apparently alcohol was involved. So that may have clouded their judgment. Okay, so something to keep in mind. Yep. Yeah. One guy did end up in the hospital, though. Yeah, he did not actually get shot, but he had some, some red marks, and so he went to the hospital to get checked out. And then he lied about what happened. He wasn't going to tell the truth, and then it was one of their wives that said, look, here's what happened. Right. They were out shooting each other with the bulletproof vest on. Mm. Uh, yeah. So, so maybe so, don't do that. Maybe don't do that. That's our word of advice today. Okay. Yeah. So uh, some more risky behavior. This is happening outside. Selena is going to be live <laughs> with chainsaws. David, you got to try this back in October. We this had so much so fun cool. with yeah. the chainsaw carvers. Oh, look oh, at her. She's armed with a chainsaw. She is ready to go. <laughs> yes. And look at that. <laughs> We have our own PTL sign now. I, you know, they are truly artists. They and are. They're so good at this, and so we're happy to have them on the show today. Is and she wearing heels? Oh, I think so, because it's Selena, and she has the complete outfit. <laughs> oh <my goodness. laughs> Look at her. Yeah. She's, of course. And she has pink uh, <laughs> headphones on there to protect her from the sound. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> she is too cute. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now she's getting comfortable with it. Who knows what she's going to do? <laughs> I see the head of whatever that is behind her coming up, just swinging it back and taking something. Well, yeah, but she's being supervised out there. She we is. should say so <laughs> everything is going to be all right. We're also going to see some of the amazing things that they create because it really blows your mind. It does. Well, we're talking about cheering on the pens, but we also have someone else to cheer on it tomorrow night. Yeah, so the new season of The Amazing Race starts right here on KDKA, and we have a Pittsburgher, or at least a Pittsburgh native, Mm -hmm. on the show. She's actually returning. Uh, Becca Draws, I think is how you say it. Draws or Draws? I'm not sure. But it premieres tomorrow at 9 o'clock. She's a Taylor Alderdice grad. She now lives in Colorado. She is a hiking instructor. Uh, but she was on the show in 2017. And she is back with her teammate Floyd. So um, we wish her luck. And we're actually talking to the show's host tomorrow uh, about to the, whole, the whole new season. So that'll be a lot of fun. I'm always disappointed that I can't watch primetime TV. Yeah, well, Early you can bedtime. record it and work, watch it later. There you go. They have this thing called the DVR. What is it? A DVR. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs>